Volleyball. Okay. Volleyball is a dodgeball. South Sea, are we ready? Yeah. Manchester, ready? Yeah. Brim's down. Yeah. Ready? Brim's up. All right, so uh, South Sea come away with the volleyball off of that run. That's a, they are moving this very fast, yeah. Goal no good, declared. They've just, Sassy have got some very talented um, beaters and currently they're in a no, they were in a no dodgeball situation and came away with a goal from that. Very solid work done by Sassy beaters there. And control not used there by Sassy. Lovely work. Okay, beat there. No bloody situation again. Press is going to be called here in a second. Definitely. Thrown it's off. Been applied. Scooped by Houghton. Score 2 0. Nice and quick. Devastating press put on there yeah. by Southsea. Manchester struggling to deal with the pressure a bit, but let's Sam. see what they could do here. Southsea aren't coming to play. Well, they are, but you know what I mean. <coughs> Another Ooh. throw here by Orange. Oh, press again. A... Beat yeah. hit. Eight catches it. Gets beat back, though. Another Manchester gone. Uh, another Manchester chaser gone. This, yeah, this can just go straight in. Yeah, another goal to Southsea. Another gorgeous shot by Hutton. Up another no bloody situation. Manchester beat is really not doing a good job of handling this. Chloe, how do you handle the press when it comes to this thing coming on? What changes do we need to see Manchester make in the quarter of the bloody play? So I remember having, when I was in QPL, having to do with Scottish Thistles high press, and we kind of just tried to focus on trying to get the uh, trying to get the volleyball past the beaters and basically send it as far as you can down pitch but it doesn't always work if you don't have the arm power to launch that volleyball down to someone who can receive it at the other end it's really difficult especially such an aggressive press like this so while we were talking about what manchester need to do to respond to the press another press comes in resulting in another turnover resulting in another no budget situation and a goal. So 4 0 now for South Sea in probably as many minutes. This is looking pretty bleak from Manchester. Oh, nice. Good block there by Marco. But the other beat comes in here, counters on. Let's see it. Five. Yeah. Yeah, so that's five goals in less than two and a half minutes. 30 yes. seconds per goal. Have Manchester even moved outside of their half yet? Um, yeah, yeah, the volleyball has come out of the... The volleyball at least has come out of the half, yeah. Lots of support coming in for Manchester's corner from a mix of people, um, some Olympians, you know. Those old team uh, alumni ties are very strong. Manchester do oh, have control, but let's see how long they can keep it for. There's a throwback that's made a no body situation. 28 in position. Lovely work there by Raj. Throws it over, catches it. Six now in three minutes. Yeah. Good bit of back contact here, protected. Manchester yeah, coming out of control. Let's see what they can do. I am really honest. I I am rooting for Manchester, like in a like kind of like an underdog underdog style situation. Let's see what Manchester can do with this control. Oh, Good beat control comes in here. They've, they've got that that's a bludger. That's a, 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 a do, yeah. dodgeball that's gone. Okay. Good little bit of offense. It looks like the drive is going to be on for South Sea here. Beaters. Oh, that was a very. Quite, quite a long shot, right? Where did Beautiful that come from? stuff. Well, who was oh, that? Was great. Um, I'm not. I, I don't even know who that was from. Was that Sam Spencer? I don't know. So Is that nice, Sam Spencer? <laughs> nice half point here being deployed by South Sea. Oh, okay. Beat and turnover. And okay, oh, turnover. Nice. Let's see it. Goodness. Twenty-eight putting in a big tackle here on number eight. Beat follows up. Spencer's got hands on. They need to come home, but there's not really a lodger yeah. in great position. Yeah, they completely one beat it down because of that uh, dodgeball all the way over there. But it is Manchester's ball. It was sent over too high. Yeah, a little bit too high on the pass. Let's see what happens. Immunity being called up here. Some cheeky bits. Manchester going to kick this bludger back. Well done. Nice one, Manchester. It's always best to just kick the bludger back in that, uh, the dodgeball back in that situation. Um, okay, nice. Yeah, they're making this. Tr they're trying to make this work as much as they can. Okay, 
right? I believe uh, that's a pass uh, after beat, though. Yeah, that they're yeah gonna probably. Get it did look a little bit late. Quaffle ball. Yeah, 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 quaffle. Sorry. <laughs> Catch that yourself. Remount, resume on my whistle. With quite a few players in position, but I think we'll still see something on the offense here. Mm. Nice and slow. Yeah, they're definitely getting set up. We're going to see it over the top, I reckon. No, okay. Oh, That's not high enough. Lovely block. Connected, but control here for Southsea. Yeah. And Manchester's number 10 is keenly aware of the players around them as well, which is always nice to see. That was some nice work by Manchester around the hoops there. Some nice work. It doesn't matter. This South Sea yeah, dodgeball is pressure is so relentless. Oh! Yeah. Latoy on in green now. That brings a score by Mike up seven. Eight. Eight. Eight goals now. Yeah. I, Very rough start. I thought Manchester had beat out Latoy then. <laughs> I didn't know. I, I was so confused. I, I couldn't see exactly what was happening over there. Unfortunate. Another good beat on the oh, turnover. Oh, ah, lovely defending by Liam Dyer. They're just there. so fast. They love throwing these bludgers. Yeah. The oh, like it. Good bit of tackle. Lovely contact there, but it's followed up anyway by Brown number four. Yeah. That was a goal. Manchester's yeah. beater is being caught up in some contact over there. So. All right, so Leo, yeah, it looks like Manchester's beater has kept their dodgeball. In fact, it's a very lucky save from their legs catching that broom. We've stood some pretty solid contact from Southsea as well. Very impressive. Seeing it roll up, bludge up high. Oh. Shot's good, but it's blocked. Let's see if it can be finished. I doubt oh. it. In the toys, hands in green, yeah. and they're just going to go. Yeah, that's Oh my it. God. A lovely, a lovely oh, beat. Shot's Liam. no good. The toy grinning at themselves, not feeling really too happy about that one. Knocks the broom over. It happens sometimes. Happens to the best of us. Especially <laughs> to me, I miss a lot. <laughs> so, Manchester are uh, thinking about what to do here. Uh, Tash has the, yep, Tash has the ball. Uh, it's moving around, just trying to figure out where to go. It's going to run up pitch with it. Good run around, but there's a bit of bludger in the way. Let's see what Tash can do with it. Throws it into hands of zero. There's a beat of right there. The thing is, is that you'd normally expect to see these kind of beats on reception if there was a really loopy pass to someone really out of position. Yeah. But Southsea are so fast and so aggressive at throwing yeah. that Manchester always seem to be out of position. Yeah. All those through no fault of their own. Another goal, lovely shot there, knocks the hoop off. Love to see one of those ones. It's quite satisfying when it, it is just comes nice. off like that. Playing with fire. Um, yeah. Unfortunate to see Manchester doing their best. Good. Like, the shapes are right, the behaviour's good, but it's just. It's a bit anemic in the face of this massively aggressive South Sea yeah. beta defence. Yeah, I do. I feel like I feel like um, Manchester. They're kind of like switching on a little bit more than the start, though, which is good. Definitely good. See, slightly clumsy play there. Manchester yeah. number thirteen loses a dodgeball, beating a keeper in their keeper zone with a yeah. team. So just a little bit of a sign of inexperience there. Yeah. Lovely throw across here to number eighteen, Bennell from Raj. Let's sit here. They're setting up in a like a kite, it's almost like a, no, not a kite. There's it. They're in a box, uh, like a box formation at the minute. Yeah. Benel, Benel is swapping around a lot. Throws it over, eats it. Oh, lovely shot there. I feel like when South Sea aren't shooting, they are very good at setting up those passing options around hoops, absolutely so that they can either pass true, to them, true. or if they miss a shot on the hoops, there is someone there to recover it, assuming it doesn't go sky high. Manchester are taking it up the left side of the pitch. I think. Um, oh, good little swat there by Marco. Catches yeah. a beat. Makes a beat time. Go on, Manchester. Misses. Let's see if they can oh, finish it, Manchester. Got blocked off. Honestly, I feel like Manchester could benefit with coming closer to the hoops. Just a little bit closer. There, there we go. Yes. 
second time that hoops come off. It's good. <laughs> Is it all right? A lot of commotion happening from the pitch behind us. Chris Tyus with the ball at the minute. Ah. Ooh. Reset nearly used there. Nearly, yeah. Uh, Lots of passing Ooh, around going on between Manchester at the minute. Oh, could this be one? Oh, oh unfortunate. And then Manchester Chance don't have enough players home. A silly, silly, pretty silly shot by South Sea then. <laughs> South Sea picking up their teammate a little bit about losing the ball. It's always nice to see a bit of team cohesion, teammates supporting each other, always important. Manchester can do here. Oh, Orange right. is just so relentless. Yeah. Okay, Geneva. Incredibly. I thought that would be Geneva there, not the Manchester player, but we'll see. Charge is on. We're going to see a goal here. Goal for Another Geneva one. Chambers. Just a very lovely run through there. And really nice pressure put on by Geneva as well um, at the halfway line for the ball. So, you're, imagine, uh, Chloe, you're the coach for Manchester and you're in their sub box. What kind of changes do you want to see them make? What are you saying to your team there? We can see they've got a, Isla, a very experienced quad ball player, over in the box. What, do you, what, what wisdom would you impart? I guess, I think one of the issues that's happening here is, um, I think it's Manchester players' awareness of where their beats are that seems to yeah. be getting them. Like, a lot of the times they're just kind of walking yeah. it up and then they suddenly get beat and there's a fast break on by Contact Sassi. from behind without so stopping momentum. Your players ball. to um, be more aware of what's going on on the pitch. It, it looks like Southsea are being carded as well. Uh, out, I don't on know what they've whistle. done wrong, but they did something wrong. So let's see if Manchester can use some, uh, do something with this. Ooh. Keep the ball. Yellow card awarded there against one of the South Sea players. Uh, and a nice intercept Good there. position, but lovely intercepts on Houghton. Yeah. Very fast. Um, I, guess it, I guess one of the other things as well with Manchester um, is like being like being ready to be there as like a, a pass off option because I feel like they bring it up to the hoops a lot, which is great, but when they get tackled or when they get beat, uh, they don't really have many easy passing options to pop it off and I really feel like if they enabled the ball carriers a little bit better by giving those options to pop off things might work a little bit better around hoops lovely oh lovely lovely contest by Manchester on that ball there but unfortunately unfortunately it doesn't they Southie still come away with a goal however I think Manchester put in some really good effort there yeah a good bit of contact in the B to play in the South Sea half. But yeah, that brings our score now to 14 0 favour of South Sea. There we go. That right there was absolutely lovely. That was good awareness of the beaters. They saw the beater coming and instantly they passed off straight away. They need more of that and I hope they keep doing that. That was brilliant. They used their reset option, but it stopped the, uh, South Sea from getting a fast break. Well done, Manchester. Mm. So, ball is with Manchester keeper. Um, we've had some pretty exciting oh, plays I... go on. She can't be doing that against this team. Yeah. We've got to be careful. Second reset potentially going to be used oh. here. Beat caught into the hands of the toy. Yeah. Who's on the charge? Let's see it. Another goal. 15-0. 16 now. Oh, 16. Yeah, 16. Wow. We get a time check. 
Um, I don't know what the time is. Oh, is it on phone? Oh, it is. Half past nine. Okay, so what's going on here? Liam manages to deflect a bludger, unfortunately misses the beat on Harry McClanagan. Uh, the volleyball is rolled off pitch, and I believe it's South Sea inbounding. Yeah, it is South Sea inbounding. Oh, very lovely. Oh, my. Liam Dyer. Liam, Liam Dyer. Kit had a lovely, lovely defence against yeah, <laughs> some tremendous some pressure. some great pressure there and sent Harry home as well. There was a bit of a face beat there though and I wonder if that might get cold here. Well, there's been a, a bruise down call that's very got much ignored by half. a bunch of the players on that side of the field. We'll see some bruise moving around in a bit. Yeah. Let's see great. what the refs have to say. Don't know. That, no, that's there was an illegal restart. Illegal restart. I imagine no. players if may be walking up yeah. to be like... Keeper, you restarted in the opponent's half. You need to restart from within your own keeper's zone. Happening. Bring the ball back. Oh, no, I mean, the illegal restart is fair enough, but there's more players coming up to the rest, probably trying to see if they can okay. <laughs> be heard about their thoughts about a situation. Oh, sorry, within your own half, it's if you're the keeper. Just let one person it's within your own half, if you're the keeper. Yeah, so right, restart. you got to see so it. Out my, got restart him. my whistle. Because of that good play by Liam from uh, Ma Manchester, uh, we've now got control for Manchester. So let's see what they can do with it. Ball going up very far by itself, without much beat of support at all, really. So, see if they can finish it. Quite a lot of pressure absorbed. Counter now on for Southsea. A lot of pressure going on here. Yeah. Yes, Round the back, yeah. step it easy. Yeah. Good hands, pass it off, beat. And. Control now return to the hands of Southsea. Yeah. Definitely doing a good job. Like, like I said, like Manchester showing even more and more live liveness as the game goes on. That was a lovely dodge. Did you catch that absolutely horrid move there by Harry? Uh, no, he what beat happened? a subbing Manchester player about a yard from the sub box. Oh, that's lame. And then they had to remount, go back, drop the bludgeon. No, which is, that, uh, I'm sorry, that is lame. Not very nice. I'm not sorry. One minute, I'm starting now. Lame. Rude. Yes, incredibly rude. You don't beat substituting players. It's just it's just the equivalent of being spat on, really. It's punching them while they're down. It's, it is, there we go. Yes, thank you. It's punching them while they're down. I'm going to call the IQ Oh. Okay, you got a radio. I'm going to call the IQ in and tell them to make it illegal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got the kids about to Time out going on now. Oh. Yeah, no, lovely, lovely play here by Southsea. Very confident looking, very aggressive. The beats are hard, they are fast, the counters exist. It's not just drives, it's cage a bit flash, it's over the top, and the set play is good as well. They're playing well around the hoops. It's very confident, very competent, very fast. And obviously it's working here because, no offence to anybody playing on the Manchester team, they're one of the better university teams. It's still a bit of skill golf. It's going to be interesting to see how this style of play works when they're playing into better teams of a similar or possibly higher tier than that, but yeah. we'll see that throughout the course of the weekend, but I'm very confident we're going to see good things Score is 19-0 South Sea, yeah. the time is 16 minutes or thereabouts, uh, restart on my whistle. To, um, flag runner on pitch, uh, very soon. 16 think, minutes is the yeah, count, last I checked. So, yeah. oh, four minutes away. Who is the, <laughs> oh, not again. Press is on, pass after beat called. We're going to see a handover here. Uh, no to... chase, no so, what happens obviously is when you're beat, you're meant so to drop it. Non match promotion. Ground, can't roll towards the Restart, you you can't can't get beat, and then throw it back to one of your own teammates, which is why we see the call here on a handover. Ben will charge again, throws it, yeah, lovely so goal, big overarm shot. Making the goal ref down there do some leg work, aren't they? It's fine. The volunteers are meant to do the work. <laughs> Goes in the hands here of Tash, 56, who is the keeper for Manchester. He's going to restart play, and we'll see what we can do. Control here in the hands of Southsea. Let's see what they do. 
Oh, a double beat there. Beat the defending quaffle player, the defending volleyball player, and the defending dodgeball player. Just a bit, Absolutely just a bit much, brutal. Isn't it? Presses on, <laughs> score, double hit. Absolute filth. Don't like it. <laughs> this is like one of the things that they talk about in the ref test. You know, ball A hits. <laughs> You know, volleyball player B and dodgeball player C and then touches a tree and then bounces off and then hits the moon. Who is B and when do you call it? The uh, answer, using, using the radius of the dodgeball and yeah. the circumference <laughs> of the sun. And the answer is absolutely everybody is B. <laughs> South Sea win the game. <laughs> Another press on. Better than beautiful position. Yeats yeah. it right down pitch. Catches it. Goal. Bish bash bosh. Stuff, stuff like that is what helps with like presses, like just having someone further down ready to receive that ball near the hoops. LQC are very good at doing it as well. I find um, that they're pretty good at just sending it down the pitch to someone by hoops. Oh God, really a lot of pressure here. A press happening on the hoops. Where's the keeper? Why is it the keeper grabbed it? So that's what happens when you send someone in green up on the flank. Like, I, that's going to happen to you. Yeah, I, I never like, honestly, if I am, I have a green headband and I'm on defence, I'm not leaving that keeper zone. There's no reason for me to leave that keeper zone. I mean, definitely not when there's a press zone, you've got blooders on the ground. No, exactly. Harry here, let's see if you get another double beat. Oh, oh, it bounces the wrong angle. Only gets one incredibly important. Oh, still sent the ball. Oh, no, he's is it going to go off? 51. Uh, Chris has just about pitch. stopped it. Oh, but he's going to get beat. Couldn't get enough momentum to go. Raj is going up. Raj has the momentum to go. And it's just nice little pass off. But there was a beat on Scott before that goal was made. So the goal is now good, but Scott's goal was not good. There's a nice quick little beat going on. And I think I can't, it was a Manchester beater. I'm not sure who it was. Might have been Marco. So it looks like the Manchester Beaters role is to protect the volleyball at all costs here. They are hugging that player. They've just cut in front, but they've gone without the beater, which is uh, questionable, I would say. Okay, that's a yeah, it's a reset use for Southsea. So it's nice that that was forced. Tassi just walking it down at the minute. Uh, our flag runners just come on pitch. It's a shame that the that Manchester's beater lost the um, dodgeball then. Lost one dodgeball. Seekers have been called. So I'm just looking at this very interesting uh, plays that are going on here with the dodgeballs. There's a yeah, very interesting interactions going on here. But Manchester have come away with control. That's good for them. Yeah. That was fab. Absolutely fab. Well, we're going to see Seekers on in a minute, chasing after this flag runner. Yeah. I believe we've got Arthur. I think that's Arthur East from Manchester. Uh, Ball start Daniel sent back Bennell to hoops already. Southsea. That's bad news. Let's see how quickly South Sea can catch it. So what's going to happen? Manchester can catch it. So if Manchester commit any uh, any dodgeball resource to this seeker, then it's just going to be goal after goal after goal after goal for South Sea. Yeah. So I think that they're just going to have to leave it alone and hope they can claw it back some way. Because yeah, um, I would agree. Uh, let's see what the seeker can do while trying to catch. Obviously, defensive seeking not legal anymore, but you've got to do what you can in this situation. A bit of pressure here. Back yeah. Off pitch over there. South Sea just having to run at it, and all that Manchester can do is really let them get on with it. Charlie Smith turning and facing those beaters to see exactly where they are. Clever. Nice passing around from Manchester, but unfortunately they just don't have enough people. We don't have enough people to pick up that ball, and Latoya is there to pick up the ball. Just comes a nice hit from Charlie, and another straight into another hit to bring them down. And that is a catch. Nothing wrong with that, I think. That looked good to it me. It looked pretty clean, yeah. yeah some good catch there by Bennell, number 18. Uh, from yeah. Looks uh, solid to me, uh, but no, obviously Connor had a better angle than I was looking at on a little screen on a camera. I, I saw it in the peripheral, so I, I, you know, it looks nice, but. Oh. Catch, no. Oh. 
Good, 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 good. good. Sorry, I, I, I got confused by the hand signals. Yeah, so that catch there brings the final score, I believe, to 250. 